<laughs> Hello. Yeah. Okay. So you already know about the time, so I think everything is gonna work. Okay, that's good. Okay, so you want me to start now? Yeah, I guess we can. Okay. okay. Um, I am Hadley Ferguson. I am one of the founders of the EdCamp movement. Um, nope, sorry. Thank you so much. You know, it might help if I could see you because then I can see when you stop talking. Okay, okay. I appreciate the strong thing you. You're so sweet. Thank you. Can you see me? No. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes. Okay, that's better. Um, and I am the executive director of the EdCamp movement, or the EdCamp Foundation. Yes, I'm the founder of the EdCamp how are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. Wait just a second while I figure this out. This is the group of original founders. We were all classroom teachers at the time. And we wanted to try a different kind of professional development. We came from big schools and small schools. Private schools as well as public schools. We all met on Twitter and decided to meet in person. We got together and decided to try something that had never happened before. We wanted to have a time where teachers could work with each other to learn and grow. Мы хотели создать такое время и пространство, где преподаватели могли бы собираться вместе и учиться друг у друга. So we came up with a couple of principles that we've held on to for the eight years that the EdCamp movement has been around. И таким образом мы пришли и создали вместе несколько принципов, те принципы, которые мы в принципе используем в EduCamp. The first is that EdCamps are free. Первый принцип, о котором мы говорим, это то, что EduCamp всегда бесплатен. We didn't want teachers to have to find a way to get to, to pay for coming to the conference. We didn't want them to have to ask their administration for funding when they wanted to learn. We wanted them to have the power of their own learning in their own hands. We also wanted to make sure that everyone could come. We didn't want it limited to just the faculty in one school. Мы не хотим устанавливать себе границы только одним направлением или только одной школой, одним типом школы. We wanted, we wanted to have people from lots of different schools and different backgrounds sharing their ideas. Мы хотим, чтобы люди как можно более различным образованием и из как можно более различных типов школ приходили к нам. And most importantly, we wanted it to be teachers teaching teachers. И что самое важное, мы хотим, чтобы учителя учили других учителей. Studies have shown that teachers trust other teachers more than they do outside experts. Исследования показали, что учителя на самом деле доверяют больше учителям, другим учителям, чем экспертам из других сфер. So we decided not to create the sessions ahead of time, but to create them on the day. 
И поэтому мы решили не создавать сессии самостоятельно, заблаговременно, а делать это в день мероприятия. It's a little scary as organizers to have an empty session board. Конечно, для нас, как организаторов, это было немножечко устрашающе, когда люди приходили, а у нас было пустое расписание сессий. But what we found is that teachers very quickly came up with what they wanted to talk about. Но то, что мы обнаружили, то, что нас удивило, что учителя сами очень быстро создали те темы, которые они хотели бы обсудить, и, соответственно, наше расписание быстро заполнилось. So this is 2010. There were eight ed camps. Здесь мы говорим о 2010 году. Тогда у нас прошло восемь эду кемпов. And that's mostly, that's entirely because people heard about it on Twitter and decided to try to have one in their town. И это все благодаря Твиттеру, потому что люди услышали там, прочитали об этом и решили создать что-то подобное в своих городах. And this is how the movement grew in the United States. So by 2015, we're all across the country. And And at this point, we are, there have been ed camps in 32 countries around the world. И на данный момент мы уже представлены в 32 странах по всему миру. Including, importantly, three years in Ukraine. Uh, sorry, can you repeat the last sentence? There was some kind of disconnection. No, oh, I've just said, and importantly, for three years in Ukraine. И что самое главное, мы уже три года представлены в Украине. And if anyone would like we are on Facebook and they can like us and learn about more learn more there let's see, wait just a second there we go um, so what I'm going to do now is go in we have a whole group of ed camp people here and they want to share their experiences with you. So hang on just a second and I will go connect you to the projector. We have Ed Camp Ukraine on the line. Hello, Ed Camp Ukraine on the line. Wow. What? Are you still there? Yeah. Good. Who would like to go first and talk about Ed Camp with Ed Camp Ukraine? Oh. Oh. Hi, how are you? This is our translator, and so you have to go slowly and okay. pause. My name is Tracy, and I am here. I am from New York State. And I, I met um, Marina and Alexander last year in Philadelphia. So if they are there, hello. Я встречала преподавателей из Украины Мелину Александру в Филадельфии в прошлом году. Если они здесь, я передаю им привет. We um last year and now we are thrilled to hear that Ed Camp is spreading throughout the world and we're so happy that you are able to join us and talk about your experiences and how they compare to ours. Мы просто сняли только в прошлом году, но сейчас я чувствую, что я в восторге от того, что движение Дукемп распространяется по всему миру. И я очень рада, что это уже длится третий год в Украине. Does anybody have any questions for us? Возможно, у кого-то есть вопросы к нам? Sorry, 
Maybe, maybe you can show all yourself because actually we see only sailing. Yeah. Oh, here, yeah, that's. Uh... Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Great. Yeah. Because we saw only one person in the sailing, you know. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Ukraine. Hello. <laughs> Yes, yes, I see, I see everybody. Uh, hi, my name is Dan. I'm from Boston. Uh, I'm one of the founders of EdCamp with Hadley. Uh, so it is thrilling to me to see uh, educators from the other side of the world doing the, the work that we started seven years ago. Я являюсь один, одним из организаторов этого кемпа, и для меня это действительно большая радость видеть э, деятелей образования в других странах, то есть того, чего мы начали семь лет назад, видеть, как это все распространяется по всему миру. It's, uh, it's crazy, right? <laughs> uh, we, we never imagined anything like this, uh, so it is really an honor to speak with you today. Um, and uh, we are so glad to see teachers around the world uh, gaining their, their own voices uh, in their professional development. Это действительно какое-то сумасшествие, это просто невозможно. Семь лет назад мы не могли себе представить, что мы будем иметь честь общаться с деятелями образования в других странах и видеть, как они э, мотивируются, как они, э, как они стимулируют других в своем профессиональном развитии. Это просто замечательно. Yeah, so it's great honor for us too to speak with you right now, and we are we so appreciate we appreciate it so much that you founded EduCamp seven years ago, and we have this opportunity to develop and motivate ourselves in this kind of event. Oh, really, thank you very yeah, much. We feel very honored to see you and to have a conversation with you personally, uh, with you as a co-founder and with all the members of that event that you are having just now. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, no? It's a real pleasure. Yeah. Yeah, what is what is that can't mean to everybody else in the room? Hey, uh, my name's my name's Dan. I have also uh, Dan, and I have a giant head. Um, I'm from Maine, and uh, 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 one of the reasons why I'm excited about Ed Camp and a chance to talk to you folks is because um, I think it's exciting when you get to see teachers taking control of their own learning. Меня тоже зовут Дэн, и я бы хотела немножко рассказать о своих причинах, почему я вижу эту кемп. Это здорово. Это здорово, когда э, учителя держат вас в своих руках, в том плане, они могут сами принимать за себя решения, и в своем образовании также. And I'm wondering if that's the reason why people uh, there in the Ukraine are, why, why teachers in the Ukraine are excited uh, to go to EdCamp is because it's a chance for them to be in control of, of their, their own development. И мне хотелось бы узнать, такая же причина в Украине. Вам также это нравится, то, что вы можете контролировать свои знания, свое профессиональное развитие, или в Украине какая-то другая причина для этого? Что вы пришли на эдкемп? Хочется развитку. Хочем развиваться. So they desire, we desire self development. Yay! We desire self development as well. <laughs> this works out nicely. <laughs> The reason is uh, the same, because we also want to um, become the um, agents of changes in our country, and that's why we are here, that's why we want to share our experiences, to share our practices, and probably to welcome different people different, from different spheres to uh, reform education in our country. That's the exact same conversation we were just having at breakfast. 
вот тот разговор, который у нас только что проходил здесь. А, я... а, Ксения, представьте, пожалуйста. А скажите, пожалуйста, а, чего они хотят учиться свою сессию? Потому что мы видим, что у них ланч. Окей, так, Actually, uh, can we ask you if you have already finished your session? Because we see that you're having a meal right now, or you're just preparing for the next session. Oh, could you repeat, could you yeah. repeat that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so can you tell us if you have already finished your session? We see that you're having a meal now, or you're just preparing for the next day of summit? <laughs> oh, we're just getting started with our last day of the summit. Uh -huh. How long is your summit? Uh, 14 days. Really, really just two. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody else before I ruin international relations for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I'm not kneeling on the floor like the other people did. <laughs> I, I met um, Alexander, Alexander and Mariana last year in Philadelphia, and we were totally amazed at what you were doing. Doing and they told us you had 500 people last year. How many people are there this year? В прошлом году мы встретились с Мариной Александровой Филадельфии. Как уже говорилось раньше, в прошлом году на этом кемпе присутствовало 500 людей. 500 людей, соответственно, нам интересно, сколько людей в этом году. 700. This year we have 704 participants. Wow! Okay. And how big and, and how many days is yours? How many days? Two day, two day conference. Two, two, two days, days and, two and, day and, and where, where is the furthest place that someone came from? Um, western part of Ukraine, so on the board with Poland. Oh, okay. Uh, but uh, okay, it's, about, it's about participants, yeah, but speakers, uh, they are from different countries, like Macedonia, for example. Uh, Netherlands. The Netherlands, yeah. Uh -huh. Italy. Okay, so... Uh -huh. So speakers... So, I mean, sorry. Go on. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so, there are representatives of 22 countries in the... Wow. In the <laughs> All right. So just it's just interesting. We don't have we have never have we ever had one that large? No. Um <laughs> in Kansas City. In Kansas City. New Jersey. How many how many people? Wow. They 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 want to say it? Okay. They were saying that we've had one we've had one in New Jersey was close to seven hundred people. That was the biggest one. Мы ну, хотим сказать, что по нашему опыту один из самых больших адаптов, который мы проводили, это было близко, около 700 человек. Это был самый большой. То есть вы делаете хорошую работу. Окей, это эксайдинг, я бы хотел быть там, чтобы увидеть. Я просто в восторге, я рада за вас очень-очень сильно. Окей, мы будем приглашать вас на следующий адаптов в Украине. Вы добры здесь. Окей. Хорошо, пока. Пойдите, Алла. Hi, good, it's good morning here, so I think good evening where you are. I'm Alice. My question is, how, what are some of the things that you've learned at EdCamp that you've taken back to your classroom to use? У меня есть один вопрос к вам. Что вы выучили на этом EdCamp такого, что вы вынесли для себя и вы бы хотели привнести на свои уроки? How to, how to find sponsors for the village school, for the school in the village? Okay. Uh, how to conduct lessons in a new way, in a new approach? How to feel the freedom of choice? Nice. 
Any others? And uh, what about you? What have you taken to your classrooms in your educamp? Or what will you take? So for me, I work with teachers and using technology in the classroom. So I often pick things up here that will help me with teachers and their practice. То, что касается меня, я часто работаю именно с преподавателями в аудиториях, соответственно, здесь я нахожу новые инструменты, новую методику, как мне доносить знания до преподавателей. А Uh, who, who is the youngest participant? So what is the age of the youngest participant in your EduCamp? Well, it's not me. Twenty-four? <laughs> uh, and uh, actually, in our current EduCamp, we have some students even. Actually, always oh, students are younger than your students. Yeah. Excellent. So I would also say that some of the things we learn here is about better practices with students. Еще одна вещь, которую мы вынесли для себя здесь и которую мы обучаемся здесь, это больше практики с нашими студентами. Anybody else want to know? I'm trying to get so another person to come up. Yes. Come on down, come on down. I just want to like put the mic on people. Right. <laughs> I've had only one cup of coffee, you're all safe. <laughs> oh. oh, what do you want me no, to do? No, 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 just you just Oh, talk. there, okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. I can't hear oh, Good, there we go. Okay. Um, so, are we asking questions? Questions we need to or say making hello? comments? All right. Um, I have a question. What time is it there right now? I missed. I missed that beginning. It's uh, four fifteen. Oh, so it's, you've had a day. <laughs> All right. Well, what's um, what's your favorite thing sticking in your mind today? Um, trust each other and try to cooperate with each other. Trust. That came up with us too yesterday was trust, definitely. We took part in a quest, so actually we get acquainted with each other better and uh, we had a lot of fun. Yeah, good. Yeah, we definitely had our laughs yesterday too. <laughs> Да, у нас также было много знакомств, много смеха вчера на различных активностях. Спросите, их уроки в формате открытых уроков вы присутствуют ли дети собираются, как у нас? If you have some kind of some type of sessions when you have workshops, yeah, with the demonstration of the lessons, do you have children at the lessons during the summit? Do you answer my question? No. Yeah. No, there were there were well. There were no children yesterday. That 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 might be questionable. But um, there were no kids here yesterday. <laughs> Adults acting like children. <laughs> I have been I have been at a camp before though, where people brought students, and that's always impactful to hear what they have to say. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, three days, two and a half. Three days, only three days. 
Because it was a joke about the tenth day. It was just a joke, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> Dan joked that it was 14, and now he has confused everyone in the UK. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't listen to Dan ever. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How long? It is the third day, yeah? It is the third this day. Is the this is the third day. It is the third day. And, and what schedule do you have? What is your agenda? So what kind of um, sessions do you have? This morning we're talking about the future of EdCamp. We're, we're really taking everything we talked about yesterday and looking ahead. Yes, okay. На самом деле, это третий день за кемпа. Это просто один участник очень устал, он пытается всех переубедить, что они здесь находятся уже две недели. Сегодня они говорили о будущем развитии этого кемпа. Вчера они больше у них была больше направленность на практическую деятельность. Более конкретно спросить. Yeah. So, uh, can you give some particular examples, maybe, of directions of this session? So, maybe you go deeper in some spheres and soft fields, or when you have practical lessons, or you have theoretical friendships. So, what are the parts of your agenda in the summit? Mm -hmm. so like the sessions yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday, there were a lot of sessions, really talking about the EdCamp movement. I'm thinking about what it, where it's supposed to go. A lot like what we're going to talk about this morning, but really just digging into it a little bit more yesterday. Um, really, people just talking about, you know, how do we, you know, how can we understand each other better? Um, yep. Ну, наша сессия все равно направлена в основном на будущее, да, то есть то, что мы в будущем будем использовать, куда мы в будущем идем как деятели образования, образовательной сферы, и, соответственно, как мы можем лучше наладить контакты между друг другом, взаимодействие друг с другом. Что можно потратить на их эдукацию? Is it possible to be invited to your EduCamp? Mm. Um, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over. Uh, how, how can we do this? How can we apply for your EduCamp? Not really no. You can just, you know, I mean, I would say you can just show up. It's not in touch with Hadley. Get in touch with Hadley. <laughs> yeah, get in touch with Hadley. Okay, so we have 10 minutes. Okay, I'll let someone else have a turn. Yeah. Great to talk to you. Thank you. So we are inviting you to Ukraine too. Ah. <laughs> Hello, my name is Rasa. Um, I have a quick question. Uh, how has the political situation in the Ukraine affected your schools, the content of your ed camp discussions, and even the, I guess, looking towards the future? So it was our political and patriotic uh, rearing. Yeah, and, and actually it, it made us cooperate. A lot of children became volunteers. And we can say that uh, children uh, got more conscious. Uh, so uh, we can say that we were trying to rear the sympathy, the empathy in our children. And uh, force their desire to cooperate and get together. So actually, uh, the feeling of a nation and patriotic appeared in children's hearts. Well, thank you very much and good luck. And also responsibility uh, for the destiny for the fate of Ukraine. Anyone else? Sure. Go for it. Yeah, Dan's not allowed back here anymore. So I'm coming back to just ask, what's one new thing that you will take back to your classroom immediate and use immediately? 
что является основной вещью, которую вы возьмете, основным учением, которое вы возьмете из Эдекэмпа и привнесете на ваши уроки? Что вы привнесете в свою аудиторию, в свой класс, когда вернетесь в школу? Новинки методы, это технологии. So, new masses and technologies. Пожелание взаимодействия. The desire to cooperate. Пожелание The desire to change and the desire to be equal with the student, to be on the same level with the student. So we have also one principal and the principal talks that she would like to give more freedom to the teachers. And we have one question to you. What are three main values, three main values of American school? Three main values of American schools. It all depends on where you are. Um, because the United States is so big, um, you can find a lot of different values in a lot of different schools. And if, so if you're talking about your particular school, in, in my school where I teach, um, respect between um, everyone in the building is a huge value that we that we uphold in our building. And, and another value is opportunity, that everyone has an opportunity to learn and grow. And it doesn't matter where you come from, you, you deserve the same same shot as everybody else. Вторая ценность – это возможность. У каждого есть возможность учиться, несмотря на то, откуда он является родом. So, um, something I wanted to, that came up um, in that last couple of questions was, I think it's interesting that I think the political climate in the United States has also impacted those of us who want to create change and want to foster agents of change. So I think that's an interesting thing that unites the Ukraine and many of the ed camp type teachers in the United States. Ко мне пришло несколько мыслей на протяжении двух последних вопросов, особенно когда мы говорили о политической ситуации. Я должен сказать, что на самом деле политическая ситуация в США она тоже влияет на сознательность учеников, и она тоже влияет на то, что люди начинают хотеть перемен. И это действительно классно, что есть ценность, которая объединяет все эдукэмпы, украинские эдукэмпы с эдукэмпами в других странах. Это желание изменений. I, I, I have questions uh, in this relation. Uh, what kind of discussion, discussion uh, you have among, among the uh, teacher in the U.S. how uh, school should change in contemporary uh, world? What change uh, you have uh, especially for you school? Did you hear the question? I didn't, not should completely, got a little... Yeah, if you could repeat it, that'd be great. Right? Uh, my God. Close. 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 Yeah, someone else close. Uh, hello. What, uh, what, what, kind, uh, what kind of discussion uh, you have among uh, the, teach, uh, the teachers, your colleagues, uh, about the direction of transformation school in the U.S.? Uh, how how speed, uh, it might be? Uh, what's the di direction? Uh, uh, what about the uh, form of cl uh, class, curriculum, etc.? Right. So, we're the conversation to, to speak for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the conversation <laughs> that's happening in most of our schools, I think, is trying to get to a place where students have more choice and more voice in their education. Я думаю, это то, что хотят имплементировать в каждой школе, это чтобы у студента было больше возможностей, больше свободы, было право голоса, чтобы студент мог определять то, что он хочет изучать. And that for a lot of us that are interested in transforming schools, we want to see a place where it's more collaborative and trying to do things that are more aligned to being successful after school than worrying about grades and worrying about um, just being successful as students. 
И я думаю, что многие со мной согласятся, что все мы хотим трансформировать школу в такое место, где мы могли создавать условия для кооперации между студентами, между преподавателями. Кроме того, мы должны смотреть в будущее, чтобы обеспечить успех студентам после школы, а не бороться за то, чтобы студенты были успешными в обучении в школе. Если мы все поняли правильно. Uh, у меня есть вопрос с присутствующим. Хотели бы вы провести эту кэмп в вашей школе и попробовать какой-то новый формат в следующем году? Да, конечно. Here are a lot of people who would like to organize at the camp in their schools if you have some offers. I have some offers. Yeah, I if you want to fly me out. I I have helped a lot of schools try out Ed Camp. Uh, but uh yeah, it 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 does work very well. Uh it does work very well in a school, even just for like an after school meeting. Uh, if you have a couple of hours, you can do a very small version of an ed camp, uh, and I think the teachers in your schools would really appreciate it um, because they, you know, you have 700 people there, but that's still a very small number of teachers all across the Ukraine. Uh, so it it can be a really great way to try and try it out during a professional development day uh, in your school. Yeah, no, we can start with something more simple, like, for example, there are some classes, 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 some That would be great. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll turn it back over to Hadley. Uh, sorry, there were some conversations. Can you repeat, please? <laughs> uh, I was just going to say it's been great to be with you and have a great rest of your day. Oh. So all participants told uh, that we still have some time because there is the next speaker and the next speaker is also interested in your situation and your YouTube camp. So if you have some more questions or something to discuss, we can continue. <laughs> Do you have any questions? Програми для інтерактивної доски, тому я можу наступити трошки. Хоч поки підійдуть люди, ми можемо да, ще поговорити yeah. 10 хвилин. Yeah, so uh, the next speaker still have some time for us, so we can use 10 minutes of her time. Yeah, because all, all people are so motivated and so interested in situation there. Uh, how can we collaborate and how can we build links with you? That's a great question. Um, I think that um, connecting on Facebook or on Twitter with the different um, ed camps um, is is one way to do that. A lot of our ed camps have 
um, Facebook pages. They also have Twitter accounts. So um, you can also look at edcamp.org to find where the edcamps are. And um, you can even be, sort of participate digitally um, in, in those edcamps. Um, a lot of them have Google Docs that are open, and you can go into sessions. Да, на самом деле, лучший способ, который с нами связаться, это через страницы в Facebook. В Facebook просто введя в строку поиска EduCamp, вы можете найти EduCamp различных стран, вы можете им туда написать, и они будут рады поддержать вас и пригласить вас на свои мероприятия. Второй путь, каким образом, это просто зайдите на сайт educamp.org, там вы увидите анонс мероприятий по различным странам, и, соответственно, вы можете либо заполнить заявку, либо просто увидеть анонсы и приехать на это мероприятие. Мы всегда будем рады вас видеть. Is it true that uh, teachers in America they are members of uh, Rotary Club? Not very what? Are they members of what? Rotary Club, Club of Rotor. Rotary. Oh, the Rotary Club? Oh, Rotary Club. Not necessarily. Uh, do, you mean, do you mean parts of unions? Sorry? I, I, uh, members of a union? Uh, or a Rotary Club? Rotary Club is, is not connected to a school. Uh, what is the system of uh, incentive of teachers and uh, the increasing of professional qualification? How do you do this in American schools? Vocational yeah, training, increasing about qualifications. Development. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, in in uh, the United States, uh, every state in the country creates its own system for how you can become a teacher and how you can uh, make, stay a teacher. Uh, so I have taught in. В США в каждом штате разработаны свои правила и свои регулирования, что нужно сделать для того, чтобы стать учителем, и что нужно сделать для того, чтобы удержаться на месте учителя. I have taught in uh, in two different states, uh, in Pennsylvania and Massachusetts, and they are very different in what they require for keeping uh, your ability to teach. То есть, если мы говорим даже о двух соседних штатах, Массачусетс и его сосед штат, то у них являются различные правила, как что нужно делать для того, чтобы становиться учителем и удержаться про курс по машинной коммуникации, да? Да, да. And do you have some special courses for teachers for increasing their qualifications? Because in Ukraine there is a general state system, and you must visit these courses once in five years, for example. So do you have the same, just different in the different... We, we do have the ability for people to increase their qualifications, but we don't have one single set of classes that everybody takes to do that. It depends on what you want to study and how you, what kind of teacher you want to be. Uh, so there is no any state curriculum, yeah? And it is not obligatory. Yeah, uh, to, uh, each state each state has some some things that are that are required, uh, but across the entire United States, it is it can be very different. Курсы повышения квалификации есть как возможность для преподавателей просто расти в своей профессиональной деятельности, но нет единой программы, по которой они идут. Соответственно, в каждом штате может быть некоторая составляющая, которая будет являться обязательной для преподавателя для того, чтобы обучиться на этих курсах повышения, но остальное преподаватель может выбирать сам. Конечно, эта ситуация может быть различной в зависимости от штата к штату.
Okay, so actually we have some kind of gradation between teacher and among teachers, yeah. And every five years we have such an event that is called attestation, like certification, yeah. So the, mm -hmm. state, the uh, teacher proves that his or her level is the same or higher. And according to this uh, whole test, let's say, let's call this event, yeah, the test, uh, the teacher can increase his or her qualification rank, degree, and uh, according to this, he or she can increase the salary that they mm -hmm. get. Mm -hmm. So do you have the same situation in the US or no? Uh, it, it works similarly in most places. Um, so what, uh, when you are a new teacher, you have to go get an advanced degree and then every five years in most places you do have to do a bunch of professional development uh, in order to stay a teacher um, but a lot of places your salary increases a little bit every year да, если мы говорим о нашей системе, то она достаточно похожа на украинскую систему. То есть, во-первых, вам нужно обязательно получить диплом магистра, да, то есть получить полное высшее образование для того, чтобы стать преподавателем. После этого вы сдаете определенные тесты, вы можете становиться преподавателем. После этого каждые пять лет э, вы проходите определенные курсы и сдаете определенное тестирование для того, чтобы подтвердить свой статус. Если мы говорим о повышении заработной платы, то э, идет... Э, Легкое увеличение заработной платы из года в год. То есть не только после пяти лет, да, просто ежегодное увеличение в зависимости от стажа работы. Скажите, что сегодня наш высококлассный обеспеченный педагог поддерживает 200 долларов. Это все. Какой социальный статус? Я просто тихо вам сказал, за это вам скажу. Не, ну мы же открываем. Я спелкую, но не получила это предполагать. Thank you very much. It was very informative. Really appreciate talking with you. Right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> bye. bye, everyone. Wait, bye. Bye. Oh, I did it. Bye. I probably have hot corners. <laughs> All right.